It was an extraordinary final day in court at Donald Trump's civil fraud trial in New York City. The former president came to court and he desired to give his own closing argument in addition to those given by his lawyers. And Donald Trump ended up doing just that, even though the judge said that he couldn't speak. The judge was concerned that Donald Trump would give a campaign speech, that he would go far afield from the evidence in the case. And that's exactly what Donald Trump did. Uh, after his lawyers finished their statements, one of his lawyers asked the judge to reconsider that ban. As the judge was assessing the situation, Donald Trump started speaking, and he went on for almost six minutes. He called this case a political persecution. He ranted about the judge being biased against him, about the state attorney general who is suing him. He said, if anything, this case is a fraud against me, referring to himself, Donald Trump. The judge in this case, Arthur Engorn, says that he hopes to have a decision by the end of the month, uh, by the end of the month of January. The judge says that he uh, will take his time to consider uh, potential, first of all, uh, whether Donald Trump and the other defendants uh, are liable for the claims against them. And then if he does that, what types of remedies or punishment they might face. The state attorney general is asking that they be banned from doing business in New York and that they pay back $370 million that she says were ill-gotten gains. The judge before the trial ruled that all of the defendants were involved in fraud via these financial statements. And as part of that finding, said that Donald Trump's companies, some of his assets, could be turned over to a court-appointed monitor uh, with the ramifications still to be determined. And we'll see uh, what happens. I think maybe he uh, may surprise people on a positive side. We'll have to see what happens exactly. But uh, we've proven this case so conclusively. Uh, we've asked for directed verdict many times. Uh, they don't have any facts. They don't have any evidence against us. Millions and millions of pages, years of litigation, and all politically motivated. She campaigned on a I Will Get Trump. If you've ever seen any of the uh, — seen any of her — clips, they're horrible clips, actually, the anger. She's got serious Trump derangement syndrome. There's no question about it. Letitia James, the corrupt attorney general of New York. But it's a shame to have to have gone through this for years and years and years. And now we'll see if we're going to get an honest verdict. No, I want to go to all of my trials. These are all, again, these are all set up by Biden and the Democrats. This is, they are, this is their new form of cheating. This is, like last time, this is their new form of cheating. So far, I think it's gone very much against him. He is using the weaponization of the DOJ and the FBI to go after his political opponent. And you just can't do that. Thank, thank you very much.